and gents, this is the moment you waited for. Wonderful to see you. Thank you. Um, at Harvard, I enjoyed that so much, having an opportunity to ask you so many questions. It was so great, and they were good questions. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you how the Internet works. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's a good, that's good. <laughs> you know, but being the cyber tech expert on Clint Arthur's greatest show of all time, mm-hmm. you know, I am very curious about how you use technology so that you can be more, do more, and have more. And, you know, most people my age um, uh, are so afraid of technology that they poo-poo it. Oh, I don't do Instagram. I don't do Facebook. It became very clear. You know, when I'm flying across the country to the shopping networks and it's a lot of, you know, it's hard. It's hard going and traveling is so awful now. What if I could do this at home? What if I didn't have to travel? What if I turned it into my own network? And so what we've done with Facebook and Instagram is create our own shopping network. And I do it by inviting people into my home. So with Big Al's Bar, uh, women don't feel good about themselves drinking alone. It's kind of not respectable still, especially my age group. But if you can have a drink with Suzanne and Al it's and, and shop and she tells us stuff and teaches us stuff and Al's like the horny bartender, and we've got this little gig going. Um, That's how I've been able to uh, understand and use the Internet. Now, you have to hire uh, not necessarily millennials, but 50-year-olds at least, who are very savvy with the newest stuff. But, um, man, Instagram, uh, now you get all the young people. Facebook, you get the 50 and older people. Shopping channels, people aren't watching. The people who are watching, it's like a dinosaur now. People aren't watching anymore. So if you don't change, if you don't keep up with, uh, used to be pop culture, but I guess with with social media now, you're out of it. And the one thing you don't want to be going forward is out of it. So to stay in it, you got to figure it out and not be afraid of it. Did I answer your question? You know, that's fantastic. Uh I do appreciate that. Um, How does the Internet work? Just kidding. (laughs) Just kidding. Um, You press start. (laughs) (laughs) I have another quick question. Mm -hmm. Um, You probably wouldn't believe this, but I'm into effectiveness and efficiency. In fact, I I use daily planners after 30 years of researching the best to run my own life to get the most I personally can out of my productivity, and I actually created my own planner. And one of the things that I have is a morning routine, and what I would really love to learn from you is what do you do on a regular basis uh, to start off healing or or creating the day for spirit, mind, and body? Something that I do every single morning. I've been doing it for at least 15 years. Uh, Once I understood that you and I as human beings are approximately 40 trillion cells and that they all have to talk to one another. It's it's our communication system. That's why you want healthy cells because they all talk to one another all the time. Have to. Every morning, I isolate one cell and I talk to that cell and I tell that cell, I love my life. I love my husband. I love my family. I love my work. I love that I live in America. And then I just go through more gratitude about the things that I love. Then I release that cell, it has no choice. It has to go tell all the other cells, okay, we love our life, we love our husband, we love our family, we love our work, we love, we live in America. And I tell you, in a, it's, it takes a nanosecond. I, I now feel great. Conversely, if I took that cell every morning and said, my life sucks, I hate my work, I hate America, I hate, I hate, I hate, the poor little cell's gotta go back to all the rest of them and go, all right. <laughs> she hates this, she hates that. So I realize by doing that that we are in control of our happiness or unhappiness. We, each one of us. It doesn't matter about the life events that are happening. It's about finding the gratitude and the good and the lesson and the opportunity in all negatives. Great. So positive self-talk is totally. critical. 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 Yeah. I, I like the way you put it. And that's how I feel. And I do it every day. Every day. Fantastic. Which self? <laughs> this where, one. Where is it? Where <laughs> this is one. It? <laughs> it's right there. It's is the it first one I grab. It's, it it's the first one I grab. It's right here. They're right there. Grab that one. Um, it really works. It really, really works. 
I've had more people that I, when I've told them that, they say, I'm talking to my cell every day. <laughs> I, I, I'm a happy person. And um, we've all had our ups and downs and highs and lows. And, and I don't know about you, but we're, uh, our lives are high. I'm sorry. Excuse me very much. Yeah. <laughs> highs and lows. And you don't learn much in the highs. Because it's good, it's fun, it's happening, it's you know sparky. It's when you hit a dip, uh, that's when you have time to think, and you can either be a victim in your dip and poor me, and why do bad things happen to me, or you can say, where's, what am I supposed to be learning from this? You know, even this fractured hip right now. I had to stay in bed for six weeks, as you and I, six, yeah, six weeks, as you and I were talking. That's a bummer to have to stay in bed, but it was a productive time. And uh, part of it was that Alan went to bed with me and we turned the events of the holidays into something fun. Like for uh, Christmas Eve, um, I put on my Norma Kamali gown and diamond earrings. And Alan and I said, put on your tuxedo jacket and your tuxedo shirt, but don't button it and put the tie, just hang like Roger Moore. And he was in his camouflage underpants under the uh, blankets. And we had um, tequila, and we each had two ounces of caviar. So extravagant. And we got a little high on tequila, and we ate caviar, and we were watching a little television. I'm in my Norma Kamali gown, and he's in his tuxedo and his camouflage underpants. And so you take, it could have been a bummer on Christmas. To, you can't leave the house, and you can't you know, go down even to the dining room to eat dinner. It turned it all into this party that people watched. And then I put it on Facebook Live, <laughs> and we sold stuff and made money, and people loved coming to Christmas with us, and we didn't even have Christmas. So it's the way you look at it, the way you use it. Fantastic.